Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I'm so happy that you stopped by my channel today because today's video is going to be full of cleaning motivation. This is a major pre-fall clean with me. I'm trying to get my household whipped into shape and ready for the fall season. I'm just about ready to whip out all of my fall decorations. So I'm trying to get every room organized and ready to be decorated. I love the fall. It is my favorite season. I love decorating for it. I love the colors. So I'm so excited to decorate soon but before we can do that we've got to clean so go ahead and put this on your tv your phone whatever device you have and let's work on cleaning together So we are starting off just by doing a quick clean of the kitchen. We are going to wipe down the counters, put everything away, organize a little bit, do some dishes. So this is where I always tend to start my cleaning routine is in the kitchen. We spend a lot of our time in here. We cook in here, we eat, we do arts and crafts at the dinner table. Like we just, a lot of our daily activities and whatnot come from the kitchen. So this is where I like to start my cleaning routine. So let's keep on cleaning the kitchen and then we'll move on to the rest of the house. Oh, I gotta wake up. This might be a breakup. Cause I don't believe you when you say that you miss me. Cause where are your actions to prove me you're different? When I say you need you and you hit the direction that's leading away from, away from me, baby. I did also want to mention that this cleaning took place over the course of three different days. So you guys will see me in different outfits because when you're a mom, it's kind of hard to clean your entire house in one go. So I had to do like a little bit at a time. Day one was just a little bit in the evening. And then day two is where I really got a lot of stuff done. And day three, we kind of just finished it off and came full circle. So if you guys need just an extra bit of encouragement, be patient with yourself and do what you can do even if you have to split up your work into several days it's really hard to try and get everything done all at once so definitely give yourself some grace and take your time you don't have to be perfect and you don't have to get everything done in one go just do what you can and know that whatever you do and whatever you do get accomplished you've done a great job doing it down and open top but we were clever not to take it too far though it's hard not getting tempted calling you up to see how you've been because don't i miss you and all those things we did back then
of course I have the cutest little helpers anytime they see me recording they're always way more inclined to clean and help out so Jonah helped me move his little chairs back to the wall and he loves to try and help vacuum so does Everly so he picked up the vacuum and tried to help where he could put his fire truck away they were great little helpers and of course the cutest ones I could find so we did a quick cleanup of the playroom and this is about it for the first day so the next clip you guys will see will be day two of cleaning. We are going to tackle the upstairs mainly on this day. And this area of the upstairs, I don't really know what to call it. It's not a loft. It's not a hallway. It's just like this random little space. I think the previous tenant, tenants who lived here had a desk in this space. I have my entry table that used to be downstairs where my little entry bench is at now. And this area has just become like a catch-all for boxes or laundry just things that need to be unpacked there's curtains just a lot of stuff that needs to be put away so we are going to tidy up this area and then we will be moving throughout the entire upstairs for day two of cleaning i could be wrapped around your arms instead of being lonely we could be gazing at the stars but now it feels just like a Wandered off into a room and closed the door behind me I never gave the key to you Even though I wanted to I should be trying something new But now my body's aching I'm tired of dwelling in the dark It's just that my heart can't take it I didn't know what it would cost me When I let you go I feel alone and I'm just singing, mm, 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 it should have been you. Another time, another place, I just know. Mm, it could have been you. What a crime and what a shame to let go. Mm, sometimes I just don't know what to do. It should have been you. Driving to your place, but now the crown is shaking Could be a face, but it feels like it will never go away Until we make up, I can't be myself I never knew how much I needed you mm -hmm. It should have been you Another time, another place, I just know So now we are moving on to my guest room. I had to really work on whipping this room into shape because I had to get it ready for my in-laws to stay with us for a little while. This is where I was storing all of my new fall and Halloween decorations that I have bought so far this year. And this is your guys's like little sneak peek of what I'm gonna have in my fall decorate with me because I only ever showed you guys what I got from Dollar Tree. I did not show you anything that I got from other stores I ended up shopping at. Hobby Lobby, Home Goods, At Home, a bunch of stores. So I have tons of really cute fall decorations to throw in with what I had last year. And since this is my first fall here on YouTube, you guys will see what I normally decorate with too because I've never had a fall video. So definitely make sure you are subscribed to my channel and hit the bell so you'll be notified when I post my fall decorate with me. It should be posted probably about a week or so after you guys see this video. So definitely make sure you stay tuned if that's something you're interested in. But this room really needed some work. There was just a lot that needed to be put away. So we're gonna keep on cleaning. And once we finish up in this room, we'll see where we head to next. I got you and you got me too. You can ride all the blue 
I wanna do what you want to We can leave and run away Someday Someday I just had to show you guys these mugs that I found at Home Goods. They are Daddy Shark and Mommy Shark by Ray Dunn, and they are just adorable. I don't collect Ray Dunn, but I do love her stuff. So when I see a product that I like, I always make sure to grab it because you can't go back and change your mind. Once you see it, you got to get it or it's probably going to be gone. So if you guys have kids that are obsessed with um, Baby Shark, I just, I, I don't know, my kids love it and I thought that they were so cute. So definitely keep your eye out. There's some really cute Ray Dunn stuff that's coming out for the holidays, but there's still just a bunch of regular Ray Dunn stuff out there that's just beyond adorable. So I didn't do a full like deep clean of the bathrooms for this video because I had just deep cleaned the bathrooms um, maybe like one or two days prior. So this is just a quick wipe down of all of the surfaces, the toilet, the counters, and the uh, mirrors. So now that we're done with that, we're moving on to my son's room. And this tends to be where my kids gravitate towards whenever we play upstairs. They prefer to play in Jonah's room over Everly's, so his room is far messier than hers so we are going to pick up all these books and toys and laundry and get everything put away and organized life is a winding road no telling where it goes driving through days and nights won't stop for traffic lights And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know If I, will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know If I... Okay, so I am not really a fan of carpet. If you guys have been following along here on YouTube, you'll know that in our last house, we did our flooring ourselves right before we decided to sell and we got rid of all of our carpet and replaced it with vinyl flooring so now we're in a rental house and it has nice carpet it's brand new and we actually really like it um but what i did miss about carpet were the vacuum lines i don't know when i vacuum it's so satisfying to watch the lines pop up 
But anyways, we're now moving on to the master bedroom. And the master bedroom is always so messy because I throw all my laundry in here and it just becomes so cluttered and messy and I really wish I'd stop doing that. But anyways, we are going to do all the laundry. Um, well, not all the laundry, but we're going to fold some of the laundry and at least get it put away so I can hang it up later and get it in drawers and make the bed and just in general just tidy up the place. So let's keep on cleaning. Okay, so now that the bedroom's all picked up, we are moving on to the master bathroom and this bathroom is much smaller than in our last house and so I'm having the hardest time with the clutter on the countertops. So it's so messy but nothing that a quick pickup can't fix. So we're going to pick up the bathroom and then do a quick wipe down of the surfaces just like the kids bathroom. Stop the time, don't 
Don't you know that I would Cause I'm just loving this moment Can't always stay here forever 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 I watch you as you sleep You don't know I'm looking you everything was complete do you know how much i love you i put your favorite song on just to wake you up when i dance around i can't help but feeling just loving this moment can we stay here One thing I do love about this rental is the additional storage above the toilet. I love that there's a cabinet. I would probably prefer open shelves, but this does allow you to store like more discreet products in there, um, feminine products, stuff like that. We also use it for our perfumes because it does take up so much space underneath the sink because our counter space is limited. And then it's nice to have additional toilet paper and things like that. So you're always fully stocked. Um, but we didn't have this in our last house, so it's definitely a nice addition and it does kind of make up for the lack of counter and cabinet space down below by the sinks. So now we are just going to do a little bit of laundry. I am the worst at doing laundry. I get so far behind all the time and I'm really striving to make a habit to do one load of laundry a day. I definitely feel like if I could get myself to do that, I would be way less stressed about the amount of laundry I always have. So here's your reminder to start your laundry, switch your laundry, fold your laundry, whatever laundry chore you have, go ahead and go do it. And uh, now we are moving into my most favorite part of the video, which is the deep cleaning of my couch. I have only ever shampooed my couch one time, maybe two years ago when we first moved into our house. And it definitely needed a good cleaning after our last move. It was in a U-Haul for a very long time because this move was, a, it was a lot. <laughs> so I originally was going to shampoo all the cushions while they were on the couch, but this was very time consuming. So I ended up spot treating the, um, the cushions and then taking the covers off and washing them separately and then shampooed the back cushions and the rest of the couch. But just look at how dirty the water was. I was shocked when I saw how it came up. This made me want to just go get a whole new couch because look at how brown it is and just wait until you see me dump it out in the sink. Well, actually it's my husband, but anyways, wait till you see the water come out of the tank because it is so gross and I'm kind of embarrassed, but this couch is like four or five years old. And like I said, it's only had one good cleaning, so it definitely needed it. Um, I would really recommend deep cleaning your couch because you'd be surprised. Just look at the water. Yuck. I just, I couldn't believe it, but it looks so much better now that it's clean. It feels so much better and it looks like brand new. So we're going to take all the cushion covers off and we're going to keep on cleaning it. I am on my way 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 I am on my way
I'm not gonna lie, I thought underneath my couch cushions was gonna be far dirtier than it was. I was shocked with having two kids jumping on the couch and taking snacks on the couch and everything else. I really thought it was gonna be dirtier, but I was pretty impressed because it was fairly clean. They led me to you every single time you look at me, I lose it too. Why don't you come sit next to me? Let things happen naturally. So this is now day three of cleaning and like I said, day two was really where I did most of everything. Uh, day three was just putting these couch cushions back on and then we came full circle because I ended up having to re-clean the playroom at the end of the video. <laughs> so, but these couch cushion covers were really hard to put back on. It took me a very long time. They came out all tangled up with each other in the Velcro and it was just a disaster. That's why there's black strings all over the floor. But it was worth it. I was really glad that we ended up deep cleaning the couch because I think it looked so much better once it was all said and done and it almost looks like a brand new couch. But really, we got a lot of cleaning done over the course of three days. The house looks a lot better and I think that it is ready to be decorated for fall. I can't wait to share that with you guys. I'm so excited and I really, really hope that you found motivation from today's video. That is always my goal and I hope that you enjoyed it. Definitely be sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. That way I know to make more like this one in the future and be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you'll be notified anytime I post more videos. Like I said, the fall one should be up soon, hopefully in about a week after you guys see this. I'm so excited. I can't wait. Fall is my favorite. And again, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one.